Have you ever heard the saying, I'll sleep when I'm dead? It's a common phrase used to imply that sleep is for the weak. However, research has shown time and time again that sleep is essential for our overall health and well-being. In fact, a recent study presented at the American College of Cardiology's annual scientific session found that young people with better sleep habits were incrementally less likely to die early. The study analyzed data from 172,321 people who participated in the National Health Interview Survey between 2013 and 2018. Researchers found that people who engaged in five key factors of quality sleep, such as ideal sleep duration and not using sleep medication, were 30% less likely to die from any cause. Take for example Jane, a young professional who is working hard to climb the corporate ladder. She puts in long hours at the office, takes her work home with her, and often finds herself staying up late to get everything done. Despite her busy schedule, Jane tries to get a good night's sleep. She usually gets into bed at a decent hour, but often finds herself staring at the ceiling, unable to drift off. This cycle continues night after night, leaving Jane feeling exhausted, stressed out, and burned out. Unfortunately, Jane is not alone. Millions of people around the world struggle with poor sleep, and the consequences can be serious. Lack of quality sleep has been linked to a wide range of health problems, including heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. Not getting enough sleep can also weaken your immune system, making it harder for your body to fight off infections and illnesses. But the good news is that by focusing on the five key factors of quality sleep, you can improve your sleep habits and start feeling better than ever. So, what are these five key factors? Stick around for the rest of the video to find out. We'll explore each factor in detail and provide practical tips to help you get the best sleep of your life. Factor 1. Sleep Duration. How many hours of sleep did you get last night? If you're like most people, the answer is probably less than the recommended 7-9 to nine hours. But did you know that your sleep duration can have a significant impact on your health and well-being? Sleep duration refers to the amount of time you spend sleeping each night, and it's one of the most important factors in determining the quality of your sleep. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that sleeping less means more time for work, exercise, or socializing. But the truth is that skimping on sleep can have serious consequences for your physical and mental health. Sleeping less than 7 hours a night has been linked to a variety of health problems, including obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and even early death. And if you're not getting enough sleep, you're more likely to feel tired, irritable, and less able to concentrate during the day. So, how can you make sure you're getting enough sleep? The first step is to prioritize it. Just like you make time for work or exercise, you need to make time for sleep. Try to establish a regular sleep schedule, and aim for 7-9 to nine hours of sleep each night. And if you're having trouble falling or staying asleep, talk to your doctor or a sleep specialist to identify any underlying issues. Remember, getting enough sleep is the foundation for good health and well-being. So make sure to prioritize it. Factor 2. Sleep Environment. Your sleep environment can greatly impact the quality of your sleep. A sleep-friendly environment is one that promotes relaxation and minimizes disruptions. Think about it, if you're trying to sleep in a noisy and bright environment, it's going to be difficult to fall and stay asleep. On the other hand, a dark, cool, and quiet bedroom can help you get the sleep you need. Another factor to consider is clutter. A cluttered bedroom can make it hard to relax and sleep well. By decluttering your bedroom, you can create a more calming and restful environment. Your bed is also an important factor to consider. A comfortable bed can help you sleep better and wake up feeling rested. So, make sure your mattress and pillows are comfortable and supportive. Lastly, electronic devices emit blue light that can interfere with your sleep. So, try to avoid using them before bed, or at least use a blue light filter to minimize the impact. Creating a sleep-friendly environment is key to getting quality sleep. So, remember to keep your bedroom dark, quiet, and clutter-free, and make sure your bed is comfortable and supportive. And don't forget to put away those electronic devices at least an hour before bedtime. Factor 3. Sleep Routine. A consistent sleep routine can help regulate your body's internal clock and improve the overall quality of your sleep. Let's dive into some tips for establishing a healthy sleep routine. 1. Establish a consistent bedtime. Going to bed at the same time each night helps regulate your body's internal clock and improve sleep quality. Set a regular bedtime and stick to it as closely as possible, even on weekends. 2. Create a bedtime routine. Just like establishing a consistent bedtime, having a pre-sleep routine can signal to your body that it's time to wind down and prepare for sleep. This could include things like taking a warm bath, reading a book, or practicing relaxation techniques such as meditation or deep breathing. 3. 
Avoid stimulants before bed, caffeine, nicotine, and alcohol can all interfere with sleep quality. Try to avoid consuming these substances at least several hours before bedtime. 4. Limit exposure to screens. The blue light emitted by electronic devices can interfere with the body's production of the sleep hormone melatonin, making it harder to fall asleep. Try to limit your exposure to screens for at least an hour before bedtime. 5. Create a sleep-conducive environment. Just like we discussed in Factor 2, creating a comfortable sleep environment can also contribute to a healthy sleep routine. Make sure your bedroom is cool, dark, and quiet to promote better sleep. Establishing a consistent sleep routine can be an effective way to improve the quality of your sleep. By setting a regular bedtime, creating a bedtime routine, avoiding stimulants before bed, limiting exposure to screens, and creating a sleep-conducive environment, you can support your body's natural sleep-wake cycle and wake up feeling more rested and refreshed. Factor 4. Sleep Quality. It's not just about the quantity of sleep, but the quality of sleep that matters as well. Poor sleep quality can lead to various health issues, including obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. In this segment, we'll talk about how to improve the quality of your sleep. One of the biggest culprits of poor sleep quality is sleep disturbances. These are interruptions to your sleep cycle that can prevent you from getting the deep, restful sleep your body needs. Sleep disturbances can be caused by a variety of factors, such as noise, light, stress, and certain medications. To improve the quality of your sleep, it's important to identify the source of these disturbances and address them accordingly. For example, if noise is keeping you up at night, try using earplugs or a white noise machine to drown out the sound. If light is a problem, consider using blackout curtains or an eye mask to create a darker sleeping environment. Another important factor in sleep quality is sleep position. Believe it or not, the way you sleep can have a significant impact on how well you rest. Sleeping on your back is generally considered the best position for quality sleep, as it allows your head, neck, and spine to align properly. Sleeping on your stomach or side can lead to discomfort and even pain, which can disrupt your sleep cycle. Additionally, it's important to pay attention to your body's natural sleep cycles. Your body goes through different stages of sleep throughout the night, and interrupting these stages can lead to poor sleep quality. For example, waking up in the middle of a deep sleep cycle can leave you feeling groggy and tired throughout the day. To improve your sleep quality, try to establish a consistent sleep routine that allows your body to naturally cycle through these stages of sleep. This means going to bed and waking up at the same time each day, even on the weekends. It also means avoiding caffeine, nicotine, and alcohol in the hours leading up to bedtime, as these substances can interfere with your body's natural sleep patterns. Lastly, consider the comfort of your sleeping surface. A comfortable mattress, pillows, and bedding can make a world of difference in your sleep quality. If your mattress is old or uncomfortable, it may be time to invest in a new one. Look for a mattress that provides the right level of support for your body and sleep style. Improving your sleep quality takes time and effort, but the benefits are well worth it. By addressing sleep disturbances, sleeping in the right position, paying attention to natural sleep cycles, establishing a consistent sleep routine, and investing in a comfortable sleeping surface, you can significantly improve the quality of your sleep and, in turn, your overall health and well-being. Factor 5. Sleep Habits We've already covered sleep duration, sleep environment, sleep routine, and sleep quality. Now, we'll be discussing the final factor, sleep habits. Your sleep habits play a crucial role in determining the quality of your sleep. In this segment, we'll be covering some of the most important sleep habits you should consider incorporating into your life for better sleep. 1. Avoid stimulants before bed. First and foremost, it's crucial to avoid any stimulants before bed. Stimulants such as caffeine, nicotine, and alcohol can all negatively impact your sleep. Caffeine, for example, can stay in your system for up to six hours, meaning if you're having a late-night coffee, it could impact your ability to fall asleep. If you're a smoker, nicotine can also keep you awake, and alcohol can disrupt your sleep cycle, leading to poor quality sleep. It's essential to avoid these substances before bed to ensure a good night's sleep. 2. Set a consistent bedtime routine. Another crucial sleep habit is setting a consistent bedtime routine. This means going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, even on weekends. Our bodies thrive on routine, and a consistent sleep schedule can help regulate your body's internal clock, making it easier to fall asleep and wake up in the morning. 3. Limit screen time. Many of us are guilty of scrolling through our phones or watching TV in bed. However, this can negatively impact your sleep. The blue light emitted from electronic devices can suppress the production of melatonin, the hormone that regulates sleep. 
it's recommended to limit screen time before bed to allow your body to produce melatonin and promote healthy sleep. 4. Create a relaxing sleep environment. Lastly, creating a relaxing sleep environment can significantly impact the quality of your sleep. A cool, dark, and quiet environment is ideal for sleeping. You can achieve this by investing in blackout curtains, a white noise machine, or even earplugs. It's also recommended to keep your bedroom temperature cool, between 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit, as a cooler environment can promote sleep. Sleep habits play a crucial role in the quality of our sleep. By avoiding stimulants before bed, setting a consistent bedtime routine, limiting screen time, and creating a relaxing sleep environment, you can significantly improve your sleep quality. Alright, we've covered a lot of ground on the topic of quality sleep and the five key factors that contribute to it. Just to recap, these factors are sleep duration, sleep environment, sleep routine, sleep quality, and sleep habits. It's important to keep in mind that everyone's sleep needs are different, but by following these key factors, you can create an environment and routine that will allow you to get the best quality sleep possible. Remember, sleep is not a luxury, it's a necessity for your overall health and well-being. So, make sure to prioritize your sleep hygiene and create a sleep-friendly environment. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on health and wellness. Sweet dreams.